So this is the new Sigma 6600 sports lens for E-mount and L-mount. We've been using this with the Sony a7R5 because it seems like a great test, especially with all that resolution to play with, and to see how the autofocus holds up. Now, of course, this is going to be great for wildlife and sports photographers, but actually 60 to 600 millimeters is such a versatile focal length, you can shoot all kinds of different things. 60 millimeter is actually wide enough to be a great all-rounder, and then zooming all the way through to 600 mil gives you a lot of options for how you want to pick out your subject. So onto the lens itself, it's actually pretty reasonable in terms of size and weight. It sits very nicely on the front of this Sony camera, and it feels good in the hands. It's an external zoom, but that's probably to be expected since it keeps it nice and compact in your camera bag, and it's probably a little bit lighter than you think as well. Now, I had no issue shooting handheld with this, partly down to the weight of it. It actually felt really nice to shoot like that, but it's made even easier by the improved image stabilization. This is super obvious. As soon as you start shooting with this lens, the optical image stabilization in this lens really makes a big difference. All of these shots were handheld. Everything you see here was shot handheld. And even handheld video at 600 millimeters is possible with this. It's the kind of thing that makes a huge difference while you're shooting because it really frees you up to use this lens in all kinds of situations. You can react very quickly to things happening around you, something that is key when shooting unpredictable subjects in wildlife or even in sport. Now, speaking of image quality, it really is beautiful. This lens is able to deliver some stunning optical performance and I was really happy with the images that I was taking. Even straight out of camera, I was so pleased with the look of these images and getting back and actually editing some of these was such a lovely experience. The colors, the contrast are fantastic and there's just something about the images this lens captures that is extra special. I was quite lucky to be honest with you with the light while I was shooting but even so this is able to capture some really awesome results. The images are super sharp, with 27 elements and 19 groups actually inside the lens, and I really didn't have any problems with anything like vignetting or chromatic aberration. It produces a very clean image, and it had no problem with that high resolution of the a7R5, something I was key to try out. Now it's sharp wide open, and it's sharp stop down, which is always great to see. And you've got that minimum focusing distance of 45 centimeters at the wide end, which is actually pretty close. Now, of course, a lens like this designed for wildlife and sport is only gonna be as good as the autofocus and how well that can keep up. And I'm pleased to say there's a new ultra fast autofocus motor actually in this lens. And it's actually the first Sigma lens to be fitted with the new high response linear actuator motor. And it shows, it really is exceptionally fast and accurate. In fact, in fact, while shooting birds in flight with the A7R5, it never missed. I didn't miss a single shot. I never had a false positive. It was super quick and super sticky to my subject. Tracking birds in flight was incredibly easy with this lens. It really does make a huge difference when you're shooting fast moving subjects and Sigma have absolutely nailed it here. Of course, the a7R5 has some really lightning quick autofocus and it's great to see a lens like this able to keep up with that. Now back to the lens itself though, there's a number of controls actually on the lens. Of course, you can lock the zoom, which is always very handy. You've got a focus mode switch alongside a focus limiter switch. You've got the two mode image stabilization switch with mode one for general use and then mode two ideal for panning and tracking moving subjects. And of course, you've got three customizable buttons on here, which can be used for all kinds of different things. Now I'm not surprised by how much I like this lens. I was kind of assuming it would be a nice lens to use, but I am impressed by just how lovely it is, both from an optical quality and then a design and feel standpoint. The look of those images, oh, they are just beautiful. And overall, it feels like an extremely good choice for anyone shooting anything telephoto. I've actually been trying to think of something negative that maybe I didn't like so much about this lens, but you know what? Sigma really nailed everything here. And it really does feel like this would definitely be my first choice as a telephoto lens with this kind of reach. Now you can check out the lens for yourself by checking out the link down in the description. Of course, don't forget to like and subscribe as well if you're new here because there's loads of new content all the time. I'll see you in the next video. But until then, as always, thanks for watching.